have a trigger blade loose here, the one that I see is now this barely moves so this is normally a, just a simple job of adjusting two screws two grub screws there's one in the middle that will set the second stage and one at the back will set the first stage but mines are uh, seem to be locked tighter on so I'm just going to disassemble the trigger unit here I just take out that pin there just with a punch and a hammer and just give it a couple of light taps put a bit of wood or something down and don't leave a hole in the kitchen table like I don't punch it through but I hope the missus doesn't notice it and then there's a small spring here it's not a not really great you can't really see it from that angle but once you open it up you'll see a spring and it's on the top bar and there's two holes in the bar and then it goes on the two notches on the, the lower sear and once you get that off uh, the trigger unit itself the blade and the small aluminium blocks you just pop out You can see here, I'm just getting, getting the pun out. I know, I shouldn't be using numbers, but I couldn't find the flyers. This aluminium block here now, that's where it holds the two grub screws and the trigger blade just slides over the top of them. And on the back one, I don't know if it comes from the factory filled, but there's something on there to stop the grub screws from moving. But the, the second stage screw, I can't get it to move at all, it's, it's stuck in. I'm assuming the Previous owner put a bit of Loctite on just to, to hold it in place. That's one listen. I don't really want to heat this too much in case it expands. Too much and warps but... I don't know what that is jammed in there to hold that grub screw. Change of venue. So uh... Need more precise tools to get this out but it's out now. And... It's not in great nick to be honest. You can see here. There's a bit chewed off it. And it's covered in Loctite so I'll try and clean that up a bit. We'll get back to the end. Alright. Second screw on. That slides over there. there for night. Pull this pin back out again. Fiddly is crack. Big awkward hands doesn't help either. Just put the pin back on. Right. Right. on here. And you can see you. See here, these two holes in this spring. Use that just to adjust the tension. Let's put on this bottom sear, and that just pops over there. Like that. Right. Uh, 
Right, I'm no expert on these, and this is the first time I've ever done this. So, this screw here and behind the blade is for the second stage, and this screw on here is for the first stage. Just now, this will cock the gun, and as it sits at the minute, mm. I'll put that, can I put that trigger nut and dig at this? What a nightmare because the trigger blade moves. Trying to set this, but and then it blocks the hole you need to adjust the second stage. Doesn't really seem too bad where it sits there. Right, so they're both engaging at the same time. So I'm slack off the back. And that'll give me my second my first stage. From here, no, that shows up the camera, but well, that's the first stage, and then second stage. There's a lot of travel on that now, so. I can get out of it again. Trigger blade on the road. And just give it a wee. Right. So that's it. As it stands, right. It's not engaging the sear. So let's bring that back. Half a turn. We have this sear engaged. So I first, second. It seems awfully tight on there now. Right, I should be slight bend on that. So I'm just going to straighten that out a bit. And see here, this butt's just flared out a wee bit. It's probably me putting the heat on it. So just a slight crump on it. it seems like very soft aluminium, and I don't want to break it. So we'll just put this back on again. Back on there like that. Here in the road. A bit fiddly. Yeah, Come back on. Spring back on. There again. Right. So, it's here's engaged. That's the first stage, which is very long. So, you're on the back screw again now, they just the first stage. Just, so it's just not touching with a mull, and that'll give that much for your first stage, and um, second stage. But I 
Well, like I said, it doesn't seem too bad there. Trigger seems a bit tight now. the trigger screw back on just to you see that's a bit it's a bit wobbly let's see that there I should be able to get at that that second stage screw That seems all right there now. So there's an adjustment hole in here. You can just see it on there, the back of that screw. That's your second stage. And at the back of the third, you play down at the very end of that aluminium bar. There's your first stage. There is an any manual showing that that screw can adjust it as well. And then you have this spring here. And you, there's two teeth on the sear. You can put it up the top hole and on there or on the second hole or on the back hole and then on one of them two wee lips and just fiddle about with it. Uh, that'll just adjust the heaviness as far as I know. But as it seems there now, first stage, second stage, that seems pretty, pretty good there. The problem I was having was. Once I took up the first stage, it would just fire. I mean, it tapped when it would fire. And it was just a bit sketchy for my looking, but it doesn't seem too bad there. So, I think I've got it now the way I want it. Uh, when I was taking this out, it burred that aluminium, it's really, really soft. So just had to give that a wee polish. When I look now, so check on the on the sear here. I get this to focus a bit better. First stage, that's like. That seems to be it. Back safe again. Just a wee recap. So the first screw on there is for the second stage. The screw and sorry the light's not great then. Let's see. A screw on here, look, the back screw is for your first stage. Your first stage. And that just basically, let me see if I can get a, a decent angle, so all that's really doing is that first stage comes up the sear and just lifts the sear off that second stage 
So we'll take a wee bit of felt away just to whatever way you look at yourself. Uh, as I say, I'm no expert on this, and it's the first time I've done it. But uh, I'll just give you a wee basics of how, the, how it works and how to adjust it. But, uh, that seems spot on now. Uh, just going to take a bit of grease here. And just any sort of moving parts, it's a bit dry looking in there. Just give it a ring up. Oh, yeah, brush over. I don't really like these things being caked with grease with. Still have to keep it lubricated. But better log on.